right, people. Hopefully, this will be the last video. Uh, I don't know for sure. But um, I'm going to try to get this thing done today. Because I really was not trying to drag this thing out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just got I flow by way of the Spirit. And I just, I got to give it to you by way of the Spirit, okay? So, um, let's go ahead and continue in this audio. Because I am really not trying to drag this out. Left unchecked, they will continue to oppress. They will continue to suppress. They will continue to create misery upon the earth. Mass suffering. Therefore, it cannot continue. It cannot be allowed to continue. Bro, there has to be an end to this. Because the, these people, bro, they've been allowed by the great spirit to freely freaking choose to do righteousness but instead they rather do wickedness and in their actions they are causing mass suffering and misery upon the whole damn creation now <clears throat> They are enacting laws to oppress the homeless, okay? To actually criminalize, criminalize. They're trying to criminalize the homeless, okay? Like, how, how are, why in the hell are you criminalizing the poor? Like, bro, that is the epitome of wickedness, okay? <clears throat> This is a dear friend of mine um, that's a pure spirit, okay? A free spirit, uh, pure of heart, you know, don't do evil to others, um, does good by people, but treat it like trash, okay? Um, I was tagged in this post the other day. We're not going to read it all, um, but bruh, she's basically saying, and you know, she's in this circumstance, being oppressed, all right, had her, her vehicle was taken, all right, she had a, um, a camper, like, I forget what it was called, but, um, like a camper, or like a, a mobile home, you know what I'm saying, um, and they, they took it from her. She was doing her best to uh, keep it. And, you know, lo and behold, they ended up taking it from her. And now she has a, a van. She still has a vehicle. Thank the most high that at least she does have a vehicle. But, bro, they just been continuously oppressing her. All right? So she said, um, so basically criminalizing sleep for the homeless who often... <clears throat> don't get much sleep even without this inhumane ruling um, which has made experiencing homeless a crime uh, which has made experiencing homeless homelessness a crime to be fined and arrested giving innocent people a criminal record top off Many getting labeled as mentally ill and forced into mental health to push drugs simply for lack of sleep as it is. This dehumanizing practice will only get worse, stigmatizing them more and making them criminals for sleeping will only make this unethical, inhumane practice worse and make it infinitely more difficult for them to ever get housing. See, this is the wickedness of Lucifer's kingdom, okay? This is Satan's world. How long are people going to be complacent with this inhumanity, this lack of compassion, this lack of love, mercy, and empathy? But a never-ending love of money and greed, capitalism. 
At some point in time, there has to be an end of this. She says, now in some places, not only is it illegal for them to sleep, they are prohibited a blanket, sleeping bag, or pillow, or they can be arrested. Like, wow, bro. Wow. This goes right along with homelessness prevention measures that they've done in the cities. <sighs> Stop, bro. Come on now. You see this? This is utter wickedness. This is lack of compassion. <clears throat> like, bro, there should not be homelessness to begin with. There should not be any homeless. There's enough room on the earth for everybody to live comfortably. If it was a righteous world, everybody would be happy and free to live their lives and be happy and free. Everyone will have a roof over their head. Everyone will have plenty. But no, you got the greedy who want to hoard everything to themselves and make everybody else's life a living hell. Okay? And so when is they're too much. Like, look at this. It's gotten to the point that they're doing this bullshit, bro. They're doing this bullshit. Like, this is crazy. Anti-homeless architecture. Like, wow. Like, how serious does this have to get for you people to realize that this is absolute wickedness? When will you wake the hell up to see that this is of Satan? This is of Lucifer. This is the opposite of loving one another. So, bro, your time's up, okay? Your time is up, all right? Your time's up, okay? There, there has to be an end to this. The righteous eateth to satisfy his soul, okay? But the belly of the wicked shall want, okay? Because you're eating in abundance and you're not leaving anything for anyone else. You're selfish, you're greedy, okay? This is abominable. There should not be the ultra-wealthy and the utterly destitute. Okay? That's imbalanced. So there is coming balance. The black horse is riding. All creation groans and suffers, awaiting the children of light. And we're here now. We've stood upon our feet. We're telling you that you had an opportunity, nations, and the Gentiles primarily, because you guys were given the reins of the earth. You're the 70 shepherds. You were the 70 shepherds. We were given into your hands. The great spirit removed protection from us and allowed you to come over here Promise of religious freedom. You had the promise of religious freedom. 
That means you have free agency when you get to this blessed promised land. You have free agency to show forth the goodness, the love, the mercy, the empathy, the compassion, the kindness, and all the good things of the great spirit that you get to partake of in this land. But as a whole, you guys did not stay in the goodness of the Most High. But you came upon this land like wolves, lions, and tigers. And you began to shred us to pieces. And you have been destroying us this entire time. And you have shown no compassion to us. No love, no mercy, no empathy, none of that. Have you shown to the original people that was residing upon this land before it was allowed to be invaded by your forefathers? And to this day, you are still on this land and you still not regarding who we were before our lands were invaded by your forefathers. And created this whole unrighteous ass system that we are living today. So, we're here to give you this truth. You've been living an illusion. All your leaders have been doing great wickedness. Okay? They don't care about you. They only care about their own desires. Selfish gain. Okay, they don't care about you. They don't love you. They ain't got no compassion for you. They're not being kind to you. They're not, they're not doing any of that. They are destroying you. Bankers insur ins ensure that you stay in debt. The pharmaceutical companies ensure that you stay sick. The religious institutions ensure that you stay spiritually blinded. The media will ensure that they censor truth from you. The government ensure all of this is done legally. Okay? They are all working together hand in hand. All right? The sealed portion. Your leaders, and this is chapter, I don't know what chapter this is, bruh, hold on, let me see what chapter this is, okay, uh, I think it's chapter 26. <clears throat> Silk Portion, Chapter 26. <clears throat> okay, let's make sure. Tiggy, chill out, baby. Where in the hell is all this other stuff? Tiggy, chill, baby. Yeah, chapter 26. For verily the voice of the Most High is unto all men, and there is none to escape, and there is no eye that shall not see, neither ear that shall not hear, neither heart that shall not be penetrated. And the rebellious shall be pierced with much sorrow. For their iniquity shall be spoken upon the housetops. And their secret acts shall be revealed. And the voice of warning shall be unto all people. By the mouths of my disciples. Who I have chosen in these last days. And they shall go forth. And none will stay us. 
For Yahusha has instructed us. He has given us utterance to speak. For you will have the ability. Uh, hold on. Let me read verse 40. And now I'm a Roni. Would that you should ponder these things in your heart. Your heart. Even these things. Who you have received. Even those of you. Who have received. This sealed part. Of the gold plates. That my father has prepared for you. For you shall begin to understand in what way the iniquities of your leader shall be spoken upon the housetops. For you shall begin to understand in what way the iniquities of your leaders shall be spoken upon the housetops. For you shall have the ability to be in your homes and in your places of businesses and see and hear the reports of the actions of your leaders and your rulers. And your leaders shall attempt to hide their wickedness from before you. Your leaders shall attempt to hide their wickedness from before you, but their attempts shall be in vain. Behold, Yahushua shall use the miracles that Satan has introduced among you to do his will. And it is by the way of these miracles that you shall hear of their iniquities upon your housetops. We're the ones chosen to speak out against the wickedness of your forefathers and give the clarity and the understanding of why. All humanity is groaning and suffering. It's not because of the poor. It's because of the greedy and the selfish. It's because of complacency to a wicked ass system. Bruh, hold on. Uh, there was something that was posted on Facebook. I don't know if I can find it quickly. Hopefully, I can find it quickly. I know I was tagged in it. It was a little while ago. I don't remember when. Because uh, I, I had saved it on my phone. <clears throat> this was during the time that I did not have internet. I saved it on my phone. Um, let me see. I can actually just post it right quick. I can post it from my phone, and then we can get it that way. All right, one second. Should be here somewhere, bro. Come on now. Don't mess with me. Did I save all of this stuff? This is crazy. I did save a lot of stuff. I need to take a whole bunch of stuff off my phone. I saved a lot of stuff to my phone when I didn't have internet. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. All right, the secret covenant. All right. Um, some of these I think I saved twice because I didn't. All right. Wait, hit that one. Some of these I think I did twice. Hold on, cause I don't want I don't want to post the same thing twice. All right. Wait a minute, bro. Here I know what I'll do. I'll just post them all, and then I'll just go back and um fix it later if I have to because bro that'll take forever to try to go through all of this like, uh, 
here. There's food. Bear with me, people. All right, it's uploading now. Give me just a moment. So we're, we're, we're going to go through a little bit of this. I'm not sure if we're going to read it all. But you people need to understand what has happened, okay? <clears throat> and I'm instructed to make it very evidently crystal clear to you. That's taking forever. Come on. About dang time. All right. Okay, it should be there now. All right, the secret covenant. <clears throat> we have been living this. Okay. Uh. An illusion, it would be so large, so vast, it would escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience, for we know the secrets of the a absolute. We will work together always and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what is happening. That means they're using sorcery upon you. Okay? We will use soft metals, aging accelerators, accelerators and sedatives in food and water also in the air see a long time ago um years ago i began to taste the metal in doritos and in the candy so i quit eating it because i could taste the metal in it i, I knew something was different with it okay um everything like the food i, I noticed the change in the food i used to love candy Okay, Nestle's Crunch <clears throat> was my favorite candy bar. But I remember um, when they started putting metals in the candy. Okay, because I remember buying a Nestle Crunch and I'm like, this tastes like metal. It don't it don't taste the same. And I noticed the same thing with the freaking Doritos. So, uh, you know, when I noticed that, I quit eating it, okay? I noticed that it, it changed. And the same thing with Miss Butterworks. It was my favorite syrup for the longest freaking time. But last year sometime, um, when I bought it, the last time that I had bought it, which was last year sometime, it tasted like poison, okay? Like, the poison was very, very prevalent. I could literally taste the poison, okay? And smell it, okay? Like, pesticides, all right? Like, bro, oh my God. These people have literally been deliberately poisoning us and polluting our food and water and air and everything, okay? Uh, they will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure from our many fronts, yet we will feed them more poison, their pharmaceuticals. 
Okay? This is diabolical. Uh, I, I don't know if I should say people because these these are it. They ain't human. Okay? Um, they they have not a moralistic bone in their body. Okay? This this is of the reptilians. Okay? Um, this is of the shapeshifters. Okay? Um. <clears throat> The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths. They will destroy their minds and reproductive systems. From all this, their children will be born dead. And we will conceal this information. Didn't we read that in the sealed portion that they will attempt to hide these things? Your leaders attempt to hide their wickedness. Alright. And their leaders, hold on. And I have already explained unto you that the leaders of the nation shall not cause anything to be written that might cause them to be seen in a bad light unto future generations. For these leaders and rulers seek the glory of men, and want that all should remember them for that which they did, that was righteous among the people of their kingdom. Okay? Like, you look at Christianity and colonization as if it was something benevolent, but it was all done in great wickedness. Okay? So, you know, and they would not allow to be written that which was contrary to their command. And if something was written that was contrary to their command or which spoke the truth of their atrocities or their murders or their unjust actions among those of their kingdom, then they would cause these things to be destroyed along with the man or woman who had written these things. Okay? Hold on. Mm hmm. Hold on a second. Now they hid information. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is in an old historical book, okay? Uh, name of the book. Do I have the name of the book? No, I didn't I didn't write the name of the book. My bad people. I'll try to get better at um citing my sources. Okay. Um, but I'm I'm just a gatherer of information and I piece these things together. I line it up with the scripture, I line it up with my life, I line it up with prophecy, I line it up with what I see in what's going on, okay? Um and I line it up with all of these other things, okay? Uh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, yeah, it's lining up with even this, what we're reading. Okay? That they, they hide these things. Okay? They attempt to hide, and this is why. Okay? And how. All right? So, let's see. To combat such unwanted opinions as those of Le Casas, Las Casas, and to keep from the world the true story of the horrors perpetuated in New Spain, the Council of the Indies forbade possession or reading of the pamphlets published by Las Casas in Seville in 1552. They even went so far as to forbid the reprinting of the works of Cortes, Lopez de Gomera and other conquistadors, though these were mostly apologies, writ apologies written to obtain favor from the crown. The same censorship was reserved for the works of a whole series of enterprising monks who arrived early in New Spain and set about accumulating data on the history of Mesoamerica. Okay? So, as you can see, they did their best 
to hide things. See, they were hiding who we are. The spread of Indian slavery that accompanied European settlement of North America had tremendous impact on indigenous people, not just the enslaved, as this person noted, but on the slavers too. Slavery itself existed in America before European arrival, but the scale altered considerably when Europeans organized an international slave trade in American Indian slaves that led to the decimation of entire groups and depopulation of large areas. The surviving indigenous people underwent dramatic political, cultural, and economic changes. Those not killed in raids faced a worse fate, lifelong misery as slaves. Okay, why? Because we are prisoners of war who have been reclassified by misnomers and hidden and never restored. Okay? That's why. Forced to slave for our enemies. Forced to slave for our bare necessities. All right? Um. All right, and your leaders shall attempt to hide their wickedness from before you, but their attempts shall be in vain. All right, and you are hearing these things upon your housetops via the miracles that Satan has introduced among you. Okay, yes, all right. See, Luke 12, 2. <clears throat> For there is nothing that is covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Okay? You can only, you can only go with lies for so long. Okay? Now. Hmm. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them, and what they drink, eat, breathe, and wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons, for they can see far. We will teach them that the poisons are good, with fun images and musical, t musical tones. Those they look up to will help your celebrities. Okay, those they put on the pedestal for you to worship, your stars. We will enlist them to push our poisons. See, they don't really take them poisons themselves, other than just to get you to do it. Okay, but they don't. They don't partake of that on on a continual basis. No. They're only used to get you to follow, follow suit, okay? They will see our products used in film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effects. When they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them is for their help. We will start early on. We will start early on when their minds are young because they know the scripture. Train up a child in the way that he should go and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So we will start early on 
when their minds are young, we will target their children with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill their mind and steal their future. Does this sound like a human being with love and compassion and mercy and empathy? Or does this seem like a freaking cold ass reptile that is the complete opposite of that? Void of any compassion, love and mercy and empathy. Like literally like a dragon, a serpent, a serpent seed. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and create other diseases for which we will create yet more medicine. We will render them docile and weak before us with one power or our power with our power. Okay, that, that's a duplicate. Hold on. Let me go back. Is this the one? Uh, yeah, that's a duplicate. So let me get rid of this one. Can I not delete? Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Delete this one. Damn, it's taking forever. Okay. Hmm. Come on, bro. What you doing? <laughs> Why y'all making this hard? All right. Um, they will grow more depressed, slow, and obese. And when they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus their attention toward money and material goods so they may never connect with their inner self. <clears throat> we will distract them with fornication, external pleasures, and games so they may never be one with a oneness of it all. Their minds will be loaned to us, and they will do what we say. If they refuse, we shall find ways to implement mind-altering technology into their lives. We will use fear as our weapon. We will establish their governments and establish apprentices within, or opposites, my bad, and establish opposites within. We will own both sides. Both wings belong to the same damn bird. Okay? The right wing and the left wing is on the same damn bird. We will always hide our objective, but carry out our plan. They will perform the labor for us, and we will prosper from their toil. So is these people who are lazy, okay? Is these entities that want to suck your life force from you, but you want to demonize me, the one here to expose all of this, to give you a clear picture of what it is we have been living. Our families must never mix with theirs. Our blood must be pure always. For it is the way. We will make them kill each other when it suits us. 
We will keep them separated from the oneness by dogma and religion. Man, all of these things I've been bringing out on my channel by way of the Spirit. And, uh, bruh, if you people cannot see that this is what has happened, then I, I, I don't know how else to help you, okay? We're not going to keep reading this, bro. All right. Um, I'm just, hold on. Let me finish reading this part, okay? Uh, we will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will guide them kindly and gently, letting them think that they are guiding themselves. See, I explain to you people how we were born into this false-ass reality. So everything that we were taught, even by our parents... Because you got to take into consideration that your parents were taught, okay? Your parents were born into this unrighteous ass system. For centuries they have had to establish this unrighteous, unjust, unholy ass system that was established in great wickedness, okay? So every single thing, every aspect about this system and this reality was established by the wicked and taught to you by the wicked. And those who were unknowing, okay? Your parents did not know that they were handed down lies for generations, okay? So this is where humility comes into play. You got to humble yourself and understand that you were taught lies, Okay? You have to forgive those that taught you lies in ignorance. Okay? You have to forgive yourself for having believed the lies and the deception. Okay? It's not your fault that you were lied to. But it is your fault it, that you choose to hold on to the lie. It is your fault that you refuse to subdue your ego. Now, you think that you are guiding yourself. You think that you're thinking for yourself. But you have been subtly taught to let go of your intuition, your holy, the Holy Spirit that lives within you. you. You've been taught subtly to tune out your conscience and to listen to mortal men. Follow the status quo. You've been subtly deceived, people. Okay? You're not guiding yourself. You're being guided. We will torment... We will... What does that say? We will foment animosity among them through our actions or our, fra our factions. It's really hard to read this. Um... Hold on, let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay. We will we will form it animosity among them through our f factions. When a light shall shine among them, when a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule or death, whichever suits us best. And they had a period of time where they were allowed to kill us and suppress us, okay? And ridicule us, slander us, all of these things. All right, now they have the public doing it for them, okay? The public automatically hates us because the public is subtly guided by them. You're thinking how they want you to think, okay? You're not thinking spiritually. You're thinking carnally. All right? Uh, we will make them rip each other's hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this by using hate as our ally, anger as our friend. Does this come from the great spirit? Or does this come from the wicked?
But we can clearly see that we have been living this. Your food is poisoned. Your drinks, your water is poisoned. Okay? Your pharmaceuticals is not curing you. All of these things have come true. Okay? I'm not going to... There's a whole bunch more. All right? But, bro, I will be here all day. Okay? I'm not trying to be here all day. All right? I can't sit here for hours and hours and hours. But I'm showing you how all creation groans and suffers. Why all creation has been groaning and suffering. What it is you have to do. Okay? Because the wicked is about to be dealt with. Understand. This, this had a certain amount of time. Not eternity. Okay? These people are about to weep. Okay? You're about to weep. You're about to reap every single thing that you have sown. Okay? Let's go ahead and continue in this audio, bro. Hold on a second. Therefore, there has to be an end to this. Everything that they do is oppressive. They force every damn thing. I then went back and um, began watching this Empire series. You know, that I got on my passport. And, bruh. They embedded commercials, and not commercials, but ads in that. They embedded ads in there. So, you know, as you're watching the show, these freaking ads pop up. By me. Watch me. You know? Like, bro, I'm tired. I am tired. People are complacent with everything being forced. But I was never complacent with shit being forced on me. That is not love. The dictatorship is not love. This is the opposite of divine love. And, and ain't nobody got no love in their hearts these days, most people, because they, they ain't been shown real love. All they've been shown is superficiality, superficial love, which is us now. It ain't real love. Divine love is unconditional. Divine love gives free agency. But also keeps balance. By an eternal law. Of sowing and reaping. We reap what we sow. Therefore, if you sow good, you're going to reap good. But if you sow negativity, then that's what the hell you're going to reap. However, this time that we've been living upon this earth, there's been some righteous people, very few. But the few of us have been horribly treated upon this earth. And then, you know, when I was led to start talking about this. Hold on a second. One second. Because <clears throat> yeah, this is the thing, bruh. You know, um, we were all instructed how to live, all right? How to treat our neighbor the way we want to be treated, all right? I don't know why the heck. Let me see why this is doing this, bruh. I didn't tell it to do that. Why is it doing that? What in the hell? Alright. I don't know how the heck this got messed up. <laughs> but whatever. Okay. Um, so anyway. We were all told how to, we were all instructed how to live our life, okay? To walk in love towards one another, okay? This is a universal law, bro. Hold on a second. Uh, eternal law. Mm. 
Everybody knows this law. Eternal law. One second. The oh the royal law. I'm trying to remember what the heck I named it. The royal law that everybody knows. One second. Come on, man. And I wanted to also bring up that Ascended Masters thing, too. Man. Give me just a moment, people. One second. I don't know why that can't come up, but it's crazy. Oh, golden. Okay. There it is. Damn, I was, I'm like, what the hell, bro? So there's the golden rule. There, the golden law. All right. So that that's what I was looking for. All right, um, the rule that governs all. Okay, therefore, whatsoever you would that men should do unto you, do ye even so unto them. Okay, that means you would not be doing to other people things that you would not want done to yourself. Okay, um. The golden rule that nature only is good when it shall not do unto another whatever is not good for its own self. What is hateful to you, do not do to your fellow man. That is the entire law. All the rest is commentary. This is the sum of duty. Do no harm to others. That which, if done to thee, would cause pain. All right? This is the sum of duty. Do not to others that which, if done to thee, would cause pain. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Blessed is he who prefers his brother before himself. Okay? Hurt not others with that which pains yourself. No one of you is a believer until he desires for his brother what he desires for himself. No one is truly free unless everyone is free. Okay? One second. <clears throat> Evil is the destruction of freedom. Okay. Evil is the destruction of freedom. It cannot be stated more simply. Everywhere you look, you will find the obfuscation. Obfuscation. What? Obs. What the? What the? What the hell? O b f u s e. <laughs> I 
obfuscation. Obfuscation, the act of making something obscure, unclear, or unintelligible. Obfuscation. Obfuscation. <laughs> All right. So everywhere you look, you will find the obfuscation, the obfuscation of evil. There are countless ideas which are taught about the nature of evil. Every false idea is created by evil to hide truth from you. Evil is not darkness, and it is not a frightening unknown. Evil is not some mythical uh, psychology of men, nor is it inherent in our natures. It is not supernatural, and it is most and it most def and it most definitely exists. As with all principles, the principle of evil is simple. Evil is a destruction of freedom. When free, you can build glory, peace, prosperity, and joy into the world. Around you, you will find all these things. Men and women like you build these things. Evil enslaves. Evil is found in words such as force, compulsion, tax, violence, theft, censor, and politics. Notice that in such things, there is no joy. None have any value to humanity. All right? Um, now, people can take this and make it like, okay, well, you then it will be evil to prevent me from having free agency to do whatever I want to do regardless of how it affects others. But that is evil because... You are destroying the freedom of others to be happy. Okay? So, in essence, you are doing evil. When you tread upon others' desire of their freedom and happiness, then you are thereby doing evil. Okay? You take away free agency. All right, and that is evil. You are doing things to others that you would not want done to yourself. All right? The journey to, to our freedom and happiness begins with unlearning everything. The most educated people in the world are the most indoctrinated. The ones that cling onto science like a religion, the most unscientific. Is the people that have climbed the highest in the system that are the most enslaved. Our journey to freedom and happiness starts when we unlearn it all. Okay? You gotta unlearn what you've been taught by mortal men. Because the wisdom of this world is foolishness with a great spirit. Alright? The one of the eternal law. This is the new law to true Israel. And the law is within for it is the law of love, and it is not new, but old. Take heed that you add nothing to this law, neither take anything from it. Verily I say to you, that they who know and obey this law shall be saved, and they who know and obey it not shall be lost. Okay? You will perish. All right? Now, let me bring out the Ascendant Masters. One second. Mm. Message of the Ascendant Masters. They all have the same message. Be fearless and pure. Never waver in your determination or your dedication to the spiritual life. Give freely. That's the opposite of selfishness and greed. Give freely. What am I doing? I am freely giving you all this spiritual wealth that I've been endowed with. Okay? I've been blessed to be a blessing. I am not a burden. You want to view me as a, bur as a burden? You have free agency to do so. But understand which side you have chosen to stand upon. Because it's not the side of righteousness. Okay? 
All the ascended masters told you to give freely. Be self-controlled. Know thyself, and thou shalt know the universe and God. Be self-controlled. Be sincere, authentic, genuine. So that way you can truly trust in your maker, the maker of your spirit, the lover of your soul. You can't truly, genuinely, authentically trust in the great spirit when you know damn well that you're doing wickedness. So be sincere. Be truthful. Loving. And full of the desire to serve. Not be served. See, I don't seek to be served. I don't seek to pillage off of people. I am not self-serving. I am a servant. I'm here serving you. Day in and day out. I put all my time, energy, and effort into walking in my purpose. Serving you. Whether you want this serving or not. I still got to be obedient. See? It don't matter that you people keep casting me off and unsubscribing from the channel. It's all good. It's all good that you're unsubscribing. And that's supposed to happen. Because I ain't here for everybody. I'm only here for those that got the ears to hear, the heart to receive, and the eyes to see. Nevertheless, I must be obedient. I must speak his words to you. Whether you listen or fail to listen. For the great spirit knows that you are rebellious. I know that you are rebellious. But your blood ain't going to be on my hands. One second. One second. I don't remember what I typed that. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. I am instructed to give you warning. Okay? When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and I don't give you warning, because I know that the wicked about to be dealt with. I know that it's bruh. Yeah, oh my God. I have to do this, okay? I have to give you warning. All right? If I don't speak to warn the wicked from your wicked ways in order to attempt to save your life, the same wicked people going to die in their iniquity. But their blood will be required of me because I knew and I did not do my due diligence to speak when I was instructed to speak. But if I warn you, I do my due diligence. I am obedient in what I've been given. And you people turn not from your wickedness, nor from your wicked ways. You still gonna die in your iniquity. But I preserve my soul. I ain't gotta be tormented at the fact that I didn't attempt to save you that I didn't do everything in my power to try to help you again when a righteous man does turn from his wick from his righteousness again when a righteous man does turn from his righteousness and commits iniquity and a stumbling block is laid before him he shall die 
Because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin. And his righteousness which he has done shall not be remembered. But his blood will be required at our hand. So we're even supposed to warn those who were once in righteousness with us. So in essence, you know, what I've been doing, um, you know, in the elders, a lot of the elders and my brothers, okay, uh, they were once righteous. I learned a lot from them, okay? But there has been many stumbling blocks that's been set before them by the wicked, not by the most high, but by the wicked. And the father has me here trying to help them by removing the stumbling blocks. But they cast in me as a thing of naught, which is going to cause them to perish in their iniquity if they do not repent. But their blood ain't going to be on my hands because I've been doing everything in my power to inform them and warn them, let them know what they're doing, okay? Okay. And by way of the Spirit, I've been speaking all of these things, uncovering the how and the why. Okay? So we have to be obedient. Okay? I gotta be obedient. I gotta let you know what's coming for you. Alright? Oh my gosh, I'm over an hour again. Let's continue. And then, you know, when... I was glad to start talking about this. But it's like when we do, we're seen as complainers. Well, it's time up for you holy, wicked people, bro. You can't go throughout your whole damn life mistreating people and expect that you ain't going to reap none of this negative karma that you done put out. And those of us who's had a life of this, it's biblical prophecy that we will see the overturn of our suffering. Yes, we're going to see the overturning of our suffering, bruh. I've brung this out many times. See, we are in a dual prophecy, okay? Because we are in a paradigm. You, Your forefathers came over here. And colonize a land and a people that was here that they encountered. Okay? So, this is a paradigm. It has not been righted. Okay? It has not been dealt with. You want to continue to ignore this. Okay? And when you continue to ignore this, understand that is a paradigm. Okay? Make no mistake. The Most High will not be mocked. For a person will reap what he sows. For the one who sows for his flesh, okay, reaps corruption from the flesh. But the one who sows for the spirit will reap eternal life from the spirit. Now, which one of us is sowing from the spirit? And which one of us have been sowing from the flesh? Uh, clearly, I'm sowing from the spirit. Because I'm here freely giving the spiritual gifts that I've been given and instructed to give. But many people have set themselves as an adversary against me and have been sowing negativity because they're living in their carnal flesh. And they're ruled by their ego and their carnal lustful desires. Okay? You need to understand what you're doing. You're persecuting the righteous. Okay? You do not want to persecute the righteous. <sighs> Blessed are us when you people insult us and persecute us. And falsely say all kinds of evil against us because of the ascended master whom we follow. I rejoice 
And I am glad because I know my reward will be great in the righteous kingdom. For in the same way, all the prophets were persecuted before me. Okay? I am no different. All right? I'm no better than the ascended master. Okay? I'm no better than the ascended master. All right? I'm going to get to this in just a second. The servant ain't greater than the master. Okay? John 15, 20. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. These things I command you, that you love one another. How come you refuse to do this? But yet you make every excuse to love your money and demonize me. Demonize the righteous. Demonize those of us who don't love money. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. This brings me joy. Because now I understand why I've been hated my whole life. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying. Now we know that there are many who did keep the saying of the promised anointed one. So there are going to be those that will keep what we are here to give. Okay. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time for them to seek us out, okay? But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, then they would continue to remain oblivious to their sins. But now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me, hateth my father also. But he that loveth me, will keep my instruction. And I and my father will make our abode in him. He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Why you want to hate me, that he is manifesting himself to me? Why you want to hate the fact that I have yielded myself as a willing vessel for the spirit of truth? And the righteous spirits of love, compassion, mercy, and empathy for all humanity and all creation. Why do you hate me walking in my purpose by faith and not by sight? Why you want to diminish it down as a hobby? Why you want to try to gaslight me and project that false reality calling me lazy? To those who from the period of our birth have not been covetous of earthly riches, but have regarded ourselves as a breath passing away, 
Such has been our conduct, and much have Yahusha, well no, Yahusha didn't try us, but he was watching the whole time. Such has been our conduct, and much have we been tried by the wicked, and our spirits have been found pure, that we might bless his name. What have I been doing on this channel? I've been blessing the name of my maker. I've been esteeming the name of my maker. I've been esteeming the name of the maker of my spirit, the lover of my soul. All of our blessings have been related in a book, and, and we will be rewarded. Yea, we are yet to be rewarded. For we have been found to love heaven with an everlasting aspiration. The Most High has said, while we have been trodden down by wicked men, we have heard from them revelings and blasphemies, and we have been ignominiously treated while we have been blessing the lover of our spirit, the maker of our spirit, the lover of our soul. And now... We will be called the spirits of the good from the generation of light and will change those who have been born in darkness, who have not in their bodies been recompensed with glory as our faith may have merited. We will be brought into the splendid light of those who love his holy name. And we will be placed upon a throne of glory, of glory peculiarly, peculiarly our own. And we will be at rest during unnumbered periods. Righteous is the judgment of the Most High. We're going to be given rest, bro. Because they have been wearing us out. The most I have to renew us daily. Sometimes several times throughout the day. <sighs> Bro, we get tired. We get tired of continuously living in this oppressive as false reality. I've been living a life of this. Trial by fire. Refiner. We have been refined like silver. He purified us like gold. So that we will call upon his name. And be answered by him. I see my life in the scriptures. Can none of you charlatans and you wolves in sheep clothing take that from me? I know the life that I live. I know the life that I have been living. I know what I have been experiencing. I know what I have been seeing. You cannot convince me that I am hallucinating. I am full of the desire to serve. I'm not here for selfish gain. So all of you that want to project that false reality upon me, it will be wise for you to humble yourself and repent. It would be wise for you to apologize. Realize the truth of the scriptures. Learn to be detached from this system. And take joy in the renunciation of this false ass reality. Renounce superficiality. Renounce the lies and the indoctrination 
that you were force fed all your life. Do not get angry or harm any living creature, but be compassionate and gentle. Show good will to all. Cultivate, cultivate vigor, patience, will, purity. Avoid malice and pride. Then you will elevate in the spirit and in truth. You will achieve your divine destiny. I'm on that road. Okay? Why you want to prevent me from pursuing the celestial kingdom? From being on the narrow path? Why do you want to try to force me and strong arm me off the narrow path to follow the broad road like everybody else? That ain't love, people. That's of the adversary. Okay? So we have to endure. The pure of heart have to endure. Okay? You people need to understand that love is the master key that opens our heart to infinity. Okay? I am divine love. I refuse to let this cold ass, superficial, artificial, false ass reality force me to be a carbon copy robot who lack compassion, love, mercy, and empathy for all humanity and all creation. Okay? I'm here to be a light. And I know that I am sowing for the spirit. Therefore, I will reap eternal life from the spirit. Okay? But many people are sowing out of their carnal flesh. And they're doing it to their own destruction. Because they are going to reap destruction. Okay? You people know that all creation is groaning and suffering. You know it. Right? No one can serve two masters, people. Right? I tell you truly, happy are those that do the laws of life. And wander not upon the paths of death. For in them the forces of life wax strong, and they escape the plagues of death. I tell you truly, none can truly be happy except he do the eternal law. For if you transgress the eternal law, then you know that you're going to reap. The evil that you are sowing. It's like final destination. You can't outrun your fate. Okay? But if the erring son of man be sorry for his sins and undo them. You see this? You got to undo them. You, it, it, there ain't no blood sacrifice that covers your sin. You have free agency. And if you are truly repentant and remorseful, then you, you would undo your sin. If you have been selfish and stingy your whole life, you got a bank account, a savings account, storing an abundance of wealth, then you will begin to become a righteous am, and you will begin to sow abundantly and freely unto his servants, okay? You will begin to undo your sins of selfishness and greed. 
If the erring son of men be sorry for his sins, and undo them, and return again to his earthly mother, and his heavenly father, and if he do his earthly mother's laws, and free himself from Satan's clutches, resisting his temptations, resisting your carnal flesh, crucifying your flesh, walking in the spirit, then does the earthly mother receive again her erring son and love and sends him her angels that they may serve him. See, the righteous Elohim, the righteous spirits are servants, okay? All righteous spirits are servants, but all wicked spirits are self-serving, okay? They seek for selfish gain. Okay. Mm. I tell you truly, when the Son of Man resists the Satan that dwells in him and does not his will, in the same hour are found the mother's angels there, that they may serve him with all their power and free utterly the Son of Man, from the power of Satan. Okay? We have free agency to resist the evil one. You can choose to do righteousness. You can choose to do good. Okay? You can choose to overcome. And you can choose to, to undo the wickedness of the sins of your forefathers and your own iniquities. You can choose to undo this. For no man can serve two masters, for either he serves Beelzebub and his devils, or else he serves our earthly mother and her angels and the Most High. Either he serves death or he serves life. Okay? Now, all those who are righteous will listen to these words and you will be amazed because this word is everlasting. Therefore, it is with power. Okay? It's an eternal word that ain't never going to change. And what I'm here doing is unlike the charlatans and the wolves in sheep clothing, okay? What you will find on this channel is unlike what you will find on the, on the vast majority of other channels, okay? I'm here to explain to you why all creation is groaning and suffering. I'm here to give clarity, understanding. I'm here to give you answers for those who are seeking. Okay. Now, bro, we're going on an hour and a half. My goodness. Okay, we still got about six more minutes to go in this. We deserve that! Hold on, I gotta get some context, bro. And those of us who's had a life of this... A life of misery. The children of light who've had a life of misery. One second. Well, it's time up for you holy, wicked people, bro! You can't go throughout your whole damn life mistreating people and expect that you ain't gonna reap none of this negative karma that you done put out. And those of us who's had a life of this, it's biblical prophecy that we will see the overturn of our suffering. Let me get that again. I could have sworn I did show it. Uh, what I've been showing it a lot. Hold on. You know, the overturning of our suffering. Uh. 
Okay, so Revelations 11, 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give them reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that reverence thy name, small and great. And yes, uh, there's many people that is about to be destroyed because they have destroyed the earth. Okay, you're about to reap what you have sown. Okay. Uh, one second. Mm-hmm. Therefore, thus says the Most High Power, Now I will bring back the captivity of Jacob, and have compassion on the whole house of Israel. And I will be zealous, not jealous, but zealous, for my holy name. Yes, excited to help us, because we have come back to the original covenant. And he told us, that if my people who are called by my name shall humble ourselves, pray, repent, seek his face, then will he hear from heaven and heal our land. Or forgive our sins and heal our land. Okay? He told us that, you know, any time that we had a, uh, humbled ourselves, he would have overturned our captivity. Hold on. Why do y'all do this, bro? Come on. Like, oh my gosh. It's freaking annoying. All right. So, you know. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. My people who killed the prophets and had stoned those who the Most High kept rising up, speaking the word to her. How often I have longed. Okay, that's what this means. Okay, where it go? Did I? <laughs> Man, hold on a second. Okay, let me bring it back up. All right, all right. This what this jealous means because it, that they used the wrong term. Not jealous. Okay, our power ain't jealous, but has longed. Okay. How often I have longed to gather your children together as a hen gathereth her chicks under her wing, but you were unwilling. See, my people were unwilling to listen and humble ourselves, okay? There was something that we had to do first. All right, if my people who are called by my name will humble ourselves, pray and seek his face, turn from our wicked ways, then will he hear from heaven. See, all of this time, yeah, even though he was longing for us to, uh, you know, he was, he was longing to gather us, but we would not humble ourselves. We were unwilling to humble ourselves, okay? We were unwilling to do this. We were unwilling to humble ourselves. Therefore, he couldn't gather us, okay? We had to humble ourselves first, pray and seek his face, turn from our wicked ways, so that he would hear from heaven, so that he can begin to forgive our sin and heal our land, okay? But he is zealous now to do this for us, because now we have humbled ourselves. We, he said that he would awaken us in the land of our captivity, and so he did that, okay? All right, so because he has done this, all right, he, he's done this. He's awakened us in the land of our captivity, okay? Um, and we did what we had to do. We humbled ourselves. We turned from our wicked ways, okay? Um, yeah, um, we, we know that he is the most high our power. We were given a heart and ears to hear him. We have praised him in the land of our captivity. We think upon his name. We have a Christ conscience. Okay? Ain't nothing wicked about that. Okay? That's what all the righteous will have in the coming kingdom. All right? 
Christ consciousness. For all will have the knowledge of the Most High. All will be walking in righteousness. Okay? We will re- we have returned from our stiff neck ways and from our wicked deeds because we remember the way of our wicked as forefathers which sinned before the Most High. Okay? But because we have done this, He is healing our land. Okay, so he is going to bring us again into the land which was promised with an oath unto our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are going to be lords of our land again. Okay, we're in a paradigm shift. Okay, because that which was done in great wickedness, um, this colonization, this manifest destiny, uh, is going to be overturned. Okay. You're going to know who the original people were on these lands, okay? And the righteous of you nations that are foreigners on this land will cleave to the children of light that's been awakened in the land of our captivity, okay? You're going to cleave unto us. You're going to begin to love us. And you're going to use the abundance of the resources that you have been allowed to obtain to help us. Okay, you will become a righteous am, and you'll be joined with us on this blessed promised land. Okay, you won't be purged up off of it, for you will get to partake of the blessing, because it's going to become a paradise yet again. Okay, and you will get to dwell here peacefully with us, and you're going to be happy and free. Okay? You're going to be blessed, all right? But all of you who want to stick to this, you want to hold on to everything that you got in great wickedness, all right? You got free agency. Just understand that you're about to be dealt with, okay? You are in the valley of decision, people, okay? You're in the valley of decision, all right? So I just shown you. Okay, I just shown you that he is going to bring back our our captivity. Everything is is about to be righted. We are going to be restored. Restoration for Israel will happen. Okay, yes, indeed. All right, now let's continue. We deserve that. Having lived a life of hell at the hands of wicked people. Who refuse to take accountability for their own damn actions? They rather believe in a freaking scapegoat, a freaking blood sacrifice. Jesus didn't come to this earth to be your scapegoat. Everybody about to read what they have been sowed. And that's bottom line. I don't care if people want to believe. Believe whatever the hell you want to believe. Now, we done went through all of these scriptures showing you that the Most High ain't mocked. Whatsoever you sow, that is what you're going to reap. No amount of blood sacrifice, be it animal or human sacrifice, is going to change that law of sowing and reaping. No amount of blood is going to cover your sins. The only thing that's going to cover your sin is true repentance, humility, and doing your best to undo your iniquity, undo your sin. All the negative energy that you have been sowing, you have to counteract it with positive energy. Okay, this ain't no new age teaching. This is the eternal law. Of sowing and reaping what you put out in the universe is going to come back upon you. Okay? You spent the majority of your life being selfish and greedy. Then you're going to have to spend the rest of your life being as generous as you possibly can be. Alright? That's just what it is, people. Alright? I'm not here to mislead you. Alright? I ain't here to take advantage of you. I'm here to help you and give you a divine opportunity to change your heart. Okay? Uh, one second. But you are about to reap every single thing that you have sown. 
And those of us that have pure hearts and pure consciences, uh, we're going to reap what we've been sown to. What we sown. Shit. Everybody is about to reap what they have sown. Have a pure heart. About to see what the great spirit does with a pure heart. You got a wicked ass heart. That's why you're jealous. That's why you're envious. That's why you're all arrogant. Arrogance come from Lucifer. That don't come from the righteous kingdom. That don't come from those that are that are in a righteous kingdom and will remain in a righteous kingdom. That's the behavior of those that are kicked out of the righteous kingdom. And we all have free agency to choose. Like, I, I don't understand complacency. Just because this shit was forced on us, don't mean we have to be complacent with it. And we all have free agency to choose. Yes. Okay. We all have free agency to choose. Okay. We all have free agency to choose to humble ourselves before the mighty hand of the Most High. All right? That he may exalt us in due time. Now, right now, the Gentiles and all nations of Psalms 83, they have been as, they exalted themselves. Okay? They, they gave one another status and clout and honors of men. They established themselves, okay, on top and in rulership. Okay? But that was not established by the most high power. Okay? Nah. Right now the children of light are humbled before the eyes of our maker. Okay? I've humbled myself under the mighty hand of the most high. Okay? I trust that the most high will elevate me in his timing. Okay? Now, I don't seek to be elevated over people. I don't seek to rule over nobody. Okay? But I know that he's going to establish his people in positions of authority. Because we will do righteousness with that authority. Okay? We will not use it for selfish gain. Alright? Now. Let me go ahead and put it back over here. Like, I, I don't understand complacency. Just because this shit was forced on us, don't mean we have to be complacent with it. I am not complacent with tyranny. I am not complacent with these people. <laughs> oh my God. They stole our damn land. They stole our damn resources. You're going to give back every single thing that your forefathers have stolen. And you're about to reap exactly what the hell you've been sold. Reap what we sold. Yeah, we reap what we sold. We reap what we sow. Yeah, we reap what we sow. Oh man, we're in that time. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. I cannot shake that feeling. Yeah, their time is up, bro. Their time is up. Time for outright wickedness is over. It's time for a righteous kingdom. It's time for us to come back to divine love, compassion, mercy, and empathy. Like, bro, these, 
These are the good fruits of the Spirit that we should have and operate in. Money can't feel any damn pain. So why in the hell do people cherish it so much? It's a damn shame, bro. It's a damn shame what's happened upon this earth all for the love of money. People are doing heinous things for money. Heinous things, people have blood on their hands, all for money. Keep that in mind when you want to try to demonize me for speaking out about these things. It breaks my heart. Human trafficking. Oh my God, the earth cannot get no more wicked than it is. And time's up. Time is up, bro. Time is up. Freaking wicked ass people raping children, drinking their fucking blood, adrenalized blood. This is what your celebrities and your freaking politicians and all them people up in authority over all humanity and all creation. This is how they get down. This is how they got their power. I apologize for those of you who are sensitive to the F-bomb, okay? But, I'm, you know, it came out, all right? But, yes, that's how these wicked-ass people get down, all right? I got to keep it real. But I serve a higher power. I serve the most high power. And, uh, yeah, the few of us that serve the true power, the whole damn world about to see what he going to do through us. Because, <clears throat> yeah, can't nobody see God and live. <laughs> you can't see the most high in all his glory and live. But you can see his attributes upon the earth through his people. Yeah. That's how he manifests himself upon the earth. Through the creation. Through his creation. Through his creation. His creations that love him. Yes, we declare the glory of the Most High. We declare the glory of the Most High. Yes, we don't crave it for ourselves. I don't want no glory. I don't care about that. All I want is happiness and freedom for eternity. Okay? That's what the Great Spirit gives us. But it's been taken from me by an adversary. And people want me to be complacent with that. But I am not complacent. And I will never be complacent. I rebel against this satanic beast system. Shalom. All right, there you have it. That is the whole thing, all right? And I'm not going to stay on here. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to be bringing you next, all right? But I am happy to finish that one. Um, I did go ahead and convert um, more of the audios today before I get started. Um, the ones I recorded while I did not have internet... So that, you know, that's what I'm busy bringing you guys. You know, I have no idea how, you know, uh, how long it's going to be before I get all of these to you, okay? It's a whole bunch, okay? Not in counting, not counting the uh, melodies, uh, that which I have converted is 18 audios, okay? 18 audios, and one of them um, was before...
I had lost the internet, but I did not get a chance to bring it out to you. Um, so anyway, um, that's you know, at least 17 audios that I recorded while I did not have internet uh, that I have left over to give to you. This is not counting the ones that I've already been putting out, okay? So one second. Why do I have that twice? 24A, okay. So I gotta delete that one. So my bad. Yeah, there was one I had in there twice because the, the file extension is M4A. I thought I had been deleting the ones that I don't need. So that takes it down to 16, okay? 16, uh, well, not including the other ones I have yet to convert. All right. Uh, I think I have at least one more, so that'd be 17. And that one was recorded on 627-24, here to set the world on fire. I have no idea when the heck I'm going to have time to bring you that because I have all of this other stuff. Let me go ahead and tell you the names of them right quick. All right. Uh, let's see. 5624, my life is not in my hands. 51524, I might change this title. Thoughts after Verizon was disconnected. 523.24, how the wicked caused humanity to believe the opposite of truth. 524.24, reviewing Big Judah, the Most High will not destroy the Americas with nukes. 524.24, we will be delivered. Recorded twice that day. 525, just some thoughts about my circumstances. 527, you only have two options, life or death. 529.24, many have been deceived by the false god of money. 6.324, I don't care about fame, material wealth, nor honors of men. 6.824, message for those who refuse to hear. 6-12-24, it's important to deal with what's, it, what's within. It's important to deal with what's within. 6-15-24, the nations are about to weep. 6-16-24, you may want to check your self righteousness. 6 20 evil cannot rule forever. 6 20 24, record it twice. The longer you withhold of our resources, the worse off you are about to be. 6 24, it's a damn shame. How you're sealing your fate. Okay? All of these spiritual downloads that I received. And um, all of this was received before I got internet again. Before I knew I was going to get internet. Okay? Um, so I, I knew somehow, some way... The most I was going to provide a way for me to have an outlet. But at the time that I recorded all of that, I had no internet. And I had no money. And pretty much nobody was talking to me. Okay? So, it is what it is, people. I am his servant. Whether you want to believe that or not. You know, my fruit bear record of my spiritual mission. Okay? On that note, shalom.